Okay guys, so this is the pumpkin that we are going to be cooking. Hey guys, this is all new to me. I've been doing a lot of research on it about um, cooking our own baby food. So, like I said, this is new to me. I am um, no expert. And if you see me doing something wrong, or you see something that I can improve on, please, 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 please tell me. I'm open to suggestions. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, just tell me. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Trust me. My feelings are not easily hurt. So, um, yeah, just tell me. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to stop right quick and go grab my son. See if I can give him a passy. Okay, sorry about that. My son was screaming for a passy. Look at all that. That is lovely. Do you guys eat pumpkin seeds? I haven't had any in a really long time, but I'm not going to cook these either. Not the pumpkin seeds. Um, so, yeah, let me get a bowl. So, I'm going to cut it straight down. The center. Dangerous man, dangerous. Okay, so I was gonna leave it like this because I was gonna uh, bake it in the oven, but I chose not to do that. I'm gonna use my steamer. I bought a new steamer, so I'm gonna use my new steamer. Plus, baking it just takes too freaking long. So, we're gonna figure this out one way or another. You know what? It might be easier to bake it. You know I can get the meat out? It's going to be hard to peel it in it. I'll show you a trick. Well, I can't because you got another one. What? On how to do it easy. How to peel it so you can steam it. How would I peel it? That's what I'm asking. You would cut the ends off, like say you got the whole pumpkin. Oh, cut the ends and then you just cut it all the way around Cut and, and shave it all the way around. Yeah, that's going to be too far. So I could like this, I mean, if it was straight down. You're going to cut yourself like that. It's going to dull the knife too, isn't it? No, oh, no, the knife should be sharper. I thought I'd use that other knife just for that. Those knives, i got to sharpen. Oh, this is a monster knife my husband bought just for me. He like that. <laughs> yeah, I've cut my hand and... So the next thing I know, Ryan's bringing me home some big, huge knives. I'm like, yeah, that's right. Let me cut the finger off next time. Let's cut my whole dang finger off. And if I do, you guys, I want you to know that it is my husband's fault for bringing me this big, huge bahonkus of a knife. Okay, so I've got everything cut up, and these are my little chunks of pumpkin. So, it's all been cut, and this is the steamer. And so you just close this lid, and it's locked. And then, you just come down here, and you hit steam, and it steams. And so we will come back and check it in a little while. Okay, I'm not sure how long my battery's going to last, but I'm going to try to get through this. You can see this is all cook just real soft now so I'm going to take this out and then we're going to put it in the processor and um, mix it up okay so it's all in here and so we're just going to start to puree it and then this is the water that's left over from steaming that I'll just add to it um, as needed to thin it out Okay, so now that it's all pureed, I'm just going to pour it into this strainer. And I'm going to push it through just to make sure anything that's not completely pureed um, stays behind. That piece. And I don't know if you can see it, but I'm just going to run the spatula through to make sure that it pushes 
the puree through the, um, the mesh. Okay, so now that um, so now that this is all pureed up, um, now this is thicker than what Noah would eat it, but um, I'll thin it out um, when he's ready for it. Um, I don't want to make it too thin because as he needs it to be thicker, I don't want to have to thicken it up with any rice cereal. So just if he needs it thinner, when I uh, unthaw it, I can thin it out with water or formula. Um, seeing as how he's getting formula now, or I can thin it out with some of the breast milk that I have in the freezer when I unthaw it. So basically I'm just going to fill up each little cube, which makes about, um, about an ounce of food per cube. So I'm going to do this and then I'll wrap it with cellophane, or um, not cellophane, plastic wrap, saran wrap, whatever you want to call it. And um, then I'll put it in the freezer and let it freeze and then I will uh, take it out in about 24 hours and individually wrap them in cubes and put them in freezer ziplock bags.